I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A You already know what it is man Salute to the subscribers that notification gang You know what it could be I hope your life is as good as it should be It's your man Butterfly Tell your mama I said hi Tell your sister I missed And shout out to my brother Showtime SP And everybody who watches this channel Subscribe, subscribe Share it, share it, share it Share it like Lil Dirk shared his uh, company card, you know what I'm saying? Share the link, share the video. And I see a lot of people out there talking. Man, we don't respond to shit. We fine. I'm like, fuck it. You trippers, get it. Go get it. Get your gun. A lot of people been hitting me up and asking what's my opinions. I spoke on a couple of topics. They drop it. Locations. On Twitter or whatever the case may be. I'll speak about them here too because ain't much going on in battle rap. Because Ain't much going on in battle rap. What you niggas want me to talk about the same old events every day? Now, I ain't gonna be talking about the hip hop every fucking day, but when certain things do happen, I do speak on them because it's a lot going on. Um, I see JC versus Hollow the Don going down on URL. I'll talk about that battle in one second. My thoughts, you know what I'm saying? I seen Hollow the Don release a tweet or two going at JC. I think this is good energy on the um, Bars Over Politics URL card. It's actually happening next week. So you got Shotgun Shook's boxing event next week. Uh, do we do box? Is there predictions for boxing? Should I predict someone's gonna knock someone out? We are gonna watch the event. People are gonna watch the event. We're gonna support it. Uh, I haven't seen any of these guys fight before. You know what I'm saying? So, but what I will say is I have seen some people doing like, you know, training and things like that. O Red's got a box with Stiz. I don't know what he's gonna do with Stiz from the way I seen Stiz working out and the way I be seeing his kids training and shit like that. O Red, you better listen to your corner and watch for the hook. But um, shout out to everybody on that card too. But I read today, I read through uh, Lil Dirk's indictment, um, his actual indictment, not the indictment of the other folks, the other five individuals. I read his paperwork. And I ain't gonna lie, man, it's all online too. They did all, it's all there if you wanna read it. And from what I'm seeing is uh, they're linking him using the company's card and they're linking him through cell phone records. See, this is crazy. Like, this is 2024 and I, for the life of me, I cannot understand how people are still using it. Your cell is gonna be the first to tell. So this is, cause I like to provide you know, sometimes you got people that are younger, people that are out there in the streets, out there doing this stuff. And I hope they use cases like this and situations like this as valuable lessons. As No matter how much money you got, no matter what you got going on, when the feds get involved, they're gone. And they have a 95% conviction rate because 90% of their cases never make it to trial. So you're dealing with an uphill battle time they come get you. But look at what, um, let's let's take a trip back. We've all seen the news. I mean, I, mean, I watch YouTube, I see different blogs by you know the bigger the bigger media outlets the 1090 jakes and uh, a lot of these other the fucking no jumpers and there's a nigga on no jumper with that shit too um and a lot of these other platforms that i see that have said what was going on and when i see the paperwork's like dirt <laughs> bro you, you 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 cannot put four or five niggas on a plane to fly from chicago to california a death penalty state they using y'all money to do it. You niggas is renting cars. Then one of the shooters flew on a pli private plane with Dirk from Miami to LA. You gave them niggas too much. Do you know, let's just say it like this, when you pull up to an airport, there's cameras everywhere. My girl was saying that there's not a place in the airport where you can walk where there's not a camera. So there's cameras everywhere. Then you have to show your ID to get on that plane, get on the plane, get off, and then you're in more cameras and then you're renting a car, then y'all riding around, and your phone is pinging off of every single one of these towers. You are making yourself hot as fish grease. Then they followed and stalked King um, Kwando for, they said a day or two. Like, they got there the first day, they stalked him, couldn't find him, they found him the next day. They shot at him at a gas station from the surveillance video that I saw. Uh, they were shooting from far away. <laughs> You going all the way out there to risk your life, you gotta get up on that car. You shoot from far. They shoot from all the way. 
<laughs> no wonder they sent 18 bullets and only hit one person. They shoot it from three point range. You done got on that plane and committed to losing your life in the pet federal penitentiary. You got to get up on it. So now, um, you know, then they, they all, these guys all flew together too. Like, you think it wouldn't be odd for four or five niggas to take one-way flights. One-way flights is automatically suspicious. You take it one-way flights there, then five niggas is jumping on a plane taking one-way tickets back. They got somebody on the ground, because there's another conspirator there. And then not to, I didn't even mention OTF Jam that they got wearing the wire. <laughs> through the wire, he talking through the wire. He been around the dirt for all these niggas wearing the wire and shit. <sighs> so they lock all them up, and then you get dirt. That's the last person paperwork I read. Uh, don't book. Dirk was smart. He was telling niggas, don't book nobody using my name. Don't book nobody associated with me. He told them, don't do it. His man does it anyway. Books the flights with the same credit card. Now you're hot. Books the hotels and the rental cars. Now you're hot. Goes to a sporting goods store. Buys the ski mask. Gets the guns. Now you're really hot. Then they do the shoot and they go meet up at In-N-Out Burger. Now you're flaming hot. Then you go get back on a plane and leave and it's, dog, that shit, you, 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 you. That was some don't respond to shit with Vaughn. Like that slide for Vaughn shit got to his head. And I know from being even just the small, like one little minuscule level of popularity in life, how the internet could be. Everybody could be telling you, you gonna do this, you gonna do this, you gonna do this, you gonna do this, you gonna do it today, you gonna, They'll be getting at you kind of crazy. You got beef with an artist, or you do something, niggas are gonna be in your DM, they're gonna be bothering you. And it's a lot of the time, people who don't wanna see nothing but you do the worst for yourself. Those are the ones that's gonna be really hitting you up every time. Like in battle rap, if somebody say something negative about me, or somebody like tries to like mess with me, or whatever the case may be, I wanna get, wanna get crazy because that's just what we do. There are fans that will literally send, they'll be sending it to you. Did you see this? Did you see this? Did you, they'll, they'll try to make sure you see it to the point where you have to block some of your own people. Like, you know what? I'm blocking negativity. I don't wanna hear this shit. Or I'm just not gonna respond. But, you know, after Vaughn got hit, uh, I didn't know that Dirk would really jump on a phone or like really send a text from his phone. Like, dog, you was hot as fish grease. There was no way. I didn't think that he would be that crazy to be involved with some shit like that, you know? Then they got the dude, Brick Baby, who said that shit on the interview, on the podcast, No Jumper, basically saying, you know, they ain't got to say Sly for fun no more. And, you know, like I said, I listen to Dirk's music. I like the the, the OTF shit. I like the, you know what I'm saying? I listen to all of that shit. Some of my favorite joints. I like the album, the uh, Sign to the Streets, <laughs> Love Songs for the Streets and shit. I like that joint. You gonna run when we shoot. I used to listen to a lot of that shit. You better not slip. You better not get, come up that cut and blick. I'm from the land, fuck 63rd, but that don't go for hip. And I seen that uh, FBG's Duck's mother is going to be suing Dirk too, because the way the feds work, and this is the, you know what I'm saying, the way the feds work is they're going to seize and lock up all your assets first, because now that Rico, that Rico is probably coming, because once you attach one situation to another situation to now this situation to crossing state lines and federal, it, that, that Rico may be on the way. And when the feds seize them assets, you know, then you're gonna really see who's with who. But what we gotta see with this case going on right here is who's gonna, who's gonna have a paid lawyer, who's not. So you mean to tell me Dirk gonna pay for them niggas lawyers too? Like, you know, so you, you allegedly, everything's alleged, you allegedly sent them one a hit. Feds got a lot of information though. How you gonna explain why five niggas from Chicago is in LA or in San Diego or in LA, they fly to San Diego, get to LA, they fly back out of San Diego, it's really suspicious that your cars are seen on camera that your man swiped the card for. <laughs> it's gonna be real hard to prove that shit. Who gonna pay for them lawyers? But what I'm thinking is, ultimately somebody that's with them, probably the cons there's a conspirator's name on the paperwork. Conspirator number four, I believe, whose name is being redacted for the way it's looking, right? So what, what it says here is uh, conspirator number three I mean, conspirator, yeah, conspirator number three, uh, it says, so So Dirk, which is supposed to be conspirator number one, sent a text to conspirator number three, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. You know what I'm saying? He see that, but the conspirator three is the money man. He traveled on a private jet, so conspirator three is supposed to be Grant. 
That was that was his man, the nigga with the money. His name is Vano, Vano, Vani or some shit like that. He's the one that had the the money man. So it says that conspirator number one told conspirator number three, don't book no flights. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want no flights and no shit involved with him. But out of the guys who was in LA already, it's another conspirator whose name is not being put in the paperwork, and he's probably the one. It's probably OTF Jam. I ain't gonna hold you. The one that they've been saying been been doing all the talking anyway. Uh, so, and then after, what makes it worse is after all this shit went on, Dirk has three flights <laughs> booked out of the country, but he had flights to three places that have extradition treaties with the United States, so I really don't even know how that was going to work. You go to Dubai, they're sending you back. You go to Switzerland, they're sending you back. You go to Italy, they're sending you back. What is going on? See, this is why your history teachers can't be the gym teacher or your history, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, got, you need real teachers in these schools. These niggas don't even know what states to fly to or where to run. If he was really going to run, he was supposed to get on that border and get across to Mexico, get out there, and then figure it out from somewhere and then get to Bali or some shit like that. But what they're saying is the morning that Dirk's co-conspirators got locked up, he books three flights. And the thing is, Customs and Border Patrol, they work a lot of the same. CBP is on it. Once they know that you are that that that, that, that the feds is involved, they start locking down and getting with them. Hey, just watch out. We got this name. Watch out for him coming through there. Do 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 do. They go online. You got You have to use your passport. I don't even give a shit if the plane's private or whatever the case may be. You might still have to use a passport to fly somewhere else. Feds is on it. They get on it. They stay on it. They put the word out there. Boom. Now Dirk is sitting in jail. Um, I don't think Lil Pab's life was worth uh, <laughs> was worth. Dirt losing his company, <coughs> losing his business, losing his freedom, and never seeing his kids again. Uh, he's been involved with certain situations before, but this one right here, this is kind of crazy, man. You got one, two, three, you got four different names, five different names. This is nothing but FPG Ducks case all over again. And that's the reason why I really don't feel sorry, because it's like, dog, Dirk and them niggas had a front row seat to watch what happened with the old block case where all them niggas went down for Vaughn before and they, they do all doing life and shit in jail for going and shooting up FBG Duck. Y'all go do it again. <laughs> Y'all go pull the same bullshit, but worse, even more sloppier, jumping on private planes, jumping on commercial airlines, using your cell phone, using the fucking company car. Man, I used to be in the fucking military. We'd be scared as shit. You wouldn't even buy an extra bottle of liquor with the goddamn company, company card. Y'all using the company card to commit murder? That's why I said, share this video like you shared that goddamn credit card. I couldn't believe this shit. I was actually kind of shocked. Um, but we'll we'll see where it goes, you know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. But kids out there, man, go to school, stay in school. Is all I'm going to say. Um, to the battle rap, man, shout out to uh, Av. Um, you know what I'm saying? Av, Av been working, you know what I'm saying? He got A-Ward coming up real soon, too. I've been on my mind. I want to see what happens with Av versus A-Ward. But uh, A-Ward had came off a battle with Hollow the Dawn, which I thought was a pretty dope battle. And now, Hollow the Dawn will be battling against JC. You know what I mean? He's been spreading, the, he's been saying a couple of things. And that's the one good thing about Hollow that I be wanting him to do sometimes. I definitely do be wanting him to promote a little bit more because he's way big, too big of a name to get caught up in the shuffle. You know, sometimes you get caught up in the shuffle, you're like, man, I don't know when I'm gonna hear from this person and when I ain't gonna hear from him. But um, I'm glad to see uh, Hollow actually working and actually uh, talking and, you know, this battle's going down November 3rd, live on pay-per-view on um, URLTV.tv, you know what I'm saying? They're having a free event, free admission. Um, you know, people was talking about it last week, the mayor is, in, is, is involved. And Hollow says, this third round I came up with will be fun. Love when I get an idea that's never been done. Damn it, I can't stop rhyming. Anyway, I know his pen ill, but I hope he can write a will. Um, he said, I'm on your head, no Chris Stokes. Uh, Hollow, please don't make no whole round about no Chris Stokes and no shit like that, man. I get it with the dancing, man. We don't really, we don't really give a fuck in 2024. And be honest with you, we really don't. Um, he also says, uh, Hollow, um, Hollow was tweet talking about some other things. He says, uh, I wait a few weeks before I speak on my battle because it might sound like I'm making excuses for not having a god tier performance. Anyway, my A-Ward battle drops in a few days and that battle of the year contender, so I made up for it. JC is just the icing on the cake, no Chris Stokes. 
He also said, Dear Battle fans, my ad battle, I wrote some of my most amazing stuff. First was a whole DVD concept that tied into the second round, which was a CD. Once I started freestyling, and my second, I accidentally started. My second and my third, I never made that mistake before. It threw me off. All right, Hollow, that's cool. I'm glad to see you made it. It's just too bad that you won't make it. Uh, JC's really been in the bag. He battled Bill uh, Collector recently, and he had a really, <laughs> he had a really good battle versus Bill Collector. Low key thirty, you know what I'm saying? And Bill had been on a nice little. Ha, 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 for 2024. So to see him clear Bill like that was wild. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. To see him clear Bill was kind of crazy. But you know he's coming back now versus you, and I know we already know what he's gonna do versus uh, versus you. But Hollow, it's more so about you and Hollow. We um we need one of them ill will performances. I'm not gonna lie. We definitely do because having a dope performance is good, but having one of the best performances is important. You on Summer Madness or whatever card that was versus Verb in that one rounder was better than damn near the whole event. So we need the old hollow. We need to load up the old hollows. We need we need all of that. You know what I'm saying? We need all of that. I don't want you up there with your headphones on like you came up there in the Ave battle and shit. No, no, no. Leave all that alone. But um, I, I do. I will say that we will be excited to see uh, what you bring. It's like two. It's next week. This is next week. You know what I'm saying? And hey, they jumped the line. I know power. <laughs> I know Power Moves got their card coming up uh, with, uh, with with Hitman and all of that. And uh, again, shout out to everybody that watched the blog the other day with the Hitman joint. Well, I just couldn't understand. It's like, my nigga, you mad you were all throwing an event the week before yours. Niggas throwing an event every week, my nigga. <laughs> These joints beat every week. This is the first week in a while where there hasn't been no event. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and, and, and there might be one somewhere. <laughs> I just don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, we can't keep up. It's, them shits is all the time. But, um, I think, uh, so far in that joint, I might be rolling with JC. Hollow, you got to beat JC. I like what Hollow does. Does Hollow have the ability to beat JC? Yeah, of course he does. But I think I'm going to be rolling with JC for uh, lack of better purposes because he's more technically sound. I know round for round for round for round for round what JC is going to be able to bring. JC's lyrical ability isn't the issue. It's never the issue. It's that star power. It's that intangible. It's moving when you start moving, moving. When, when sometimes you yeah, have those battles that be like 1-1 one, one, and they're going into the third, or you got it 2-1, or it could be debatable. That Those casket closing moments, you know what I'm saying? Those big stage casket closing moments, you need those. And they usually come with punchlines, with haymakers, with line for line for line material. and. But JC is one of the ones that could do it, man. He's definitely one of the ones that could do it. And there's some other pretty interesting battles on that card, too, from what I remember. You got Rum Nitty versus Real Sick. Uh, Rum Nitty been in his bag pretty much all year. And he ain't really been losing. <clears throat> and he been battling at a high level. And the thing is, when coming off of a loaded Lux battle where, you know, I had Lux winning, but there are there's enough people. Sometimes all you need is enough. All you need is enough people to believe you won. As long as you got enough, in your corner, it really ain't a loss. It's only a loss when everybody's saying you lost, or everybody's saying you got smoked. That's a loss. But when you got enough people, it's like uh, 60, uh, 58 to uh, fucking, you know, not my, my bad, 48 to 52, 55, 45, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, 51, 49 on the votes, you feel good enough that you did something, so you're not tripping. But, uh, I do like Rum Nitty vs. Real Sick. That's a dope battle. You know, Real Sick been doing his thing too. I heard Real Sick did not want to be battling like introductory level open up talent anymore. He wanted the big names. And I, I, I could see why because he really don't be losing even when he gets the big battles. The only real big battle where he got, I ain't gonna, well, K-Shine. You know what I'm saying? k was beating everybody at that time. Sick. It ain't that big of a deal because K-Shine was beating everybody, my nigga. Him beating you was nothing but just a, a formality. It was just a formality. It happens. The nigga beats everybody. You know what I'm saying? So we had to see what went on with that. Um, and from what else I remember on there, I know Tay Rock battled Chef Trez. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rock is rock. What, what more can I say? Um, Chef Trez is going to be Chef Trez. How you want it. Um, depends on... Um, the energy. If Rock comes with 20 minute rounds, you know you are ain't stopping it. Nobody's stopping it. That's the one thing everybody can be complaining about Rock's rounds, but they stand right up there and let the nigga rap as long as he wants to. So until somebody stops it, or until somebody calls time, 
I ain't trying to hear it. It is what it is. But Chef Trez is dope too. Um, but back to Hollow, man. Yeah, this is very, this is important. Whenever you're on URL, motherfuckers is going to be watching. So I will be watching and we will be talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's next week. <laughs> These joints is happening. I said it's an event every week. But uh, overall, shout out to every single one of y'all, man. World Series will be back on the day. We lost, Yankees lost on the fucking Grand Slam at the end of the game. I'm, I'm over <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm over these niggas, but I'm over these niggas, man. It is what it is. We'll see what happens tonight. And uh, shout out to every one of y'all out there that watches this content, man. I got some homework to do. I'm actually about to get to that right now. But I definitely wanted to um, check in with y'all, drop a blog, and talk about everything that's going on. I see, like I said, I've been hit more than once about the, the little Dirk shit. What you think about it? What you think about it, my boy? And I was like, you know, I don't blog about the hip hop shit every day, but the battle rap, it really be slowing down. It really don't be shit to talk about. I'm not gonna talk about how Averb feels about Hitman every fucking day. I mean, I don't got time for that shit. I talk about when it's a significant development. If it's not one of those, my mind be in other places, man. But uh, shout out to every single one of y'all. You know what it is, man. Let me know what y'all think about what I thought or me talking about the shit earlier. We'll talk again real soon. You already know what the deal is. I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, -A. I got beef with, with the feds in the D Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A